This is a USB upright hoover. I think it's reminiscent of a hoover convertible or possibly a sanitaire, whatever. But you know, just a basic bog standard bagged upright in the form of a USB vacuum. This is quite a novelty really. It's not really meant to do much or if anything at all. So I like how it's got the cable storage on the side as well, like a classic bagged upright vacuum. So let's just unravel this entire cable and we can plug it in. Okay, starting off from the handle, you've got a rubber sleeve right over here, which is a nice little add-on feature. I mean, they could have just left it like that as a plastic handle, but no, they went to the extra lengths of adding that on. That's nice and cute. You can actually push the head down as well. And it's even more like a real upright vacuum. How wonderful. Put it upright, it locks into place and stands up as well. Now, let's take a look at the brush bar. Oh no, it hasn't got a brush bar. Instead, you've got a narrow, narrow suction channel. So as you can see, it says Paladone USB Hoover. It runs off five volts direct current and is made in China. You've got three little roller wheels. That's nice, it's not gonna scrape against your tables and desktop, so that's cool. Now the engineer in me enjoys taking this thing apart like so. So I just unclip that, pull it off the hose, take it apart, as much as you can by hand. So there's a multi unit bin, pull off the hose and then unclip the handle, pull off the rubber piece as well. <laughs> and then, oh yeah, that just unclips off. And then there you go. That's your Hoover fully disassembled. Now time to assemble it again. So you just pop this back in. So there's that, your floppy cleaner head with the handle. Locks up right. Then handle grip internal hose, multi unit, clip that back on and there we go. Oh. And there we are, that's the USB Hoover. Now time for a demo. Stand up you, there we go. What I have is tea leaves on a white tablecloth to represent carpet. So here we are on the carpet. Switching it on, three, two, one. It's really quiet by the way, isn't it? Okay, so it is doing something, as you can see. It's taking a lot of passes though. But yeah, not bad so far, until it loses suction. But honestly, in the upright mode that I'm using it on right now, it's not really going to do much favors at all. But I'm surprised at how well it's doing so far. And then let's do a really slow pass to see if it might do better. Okay, not bad. But yeah, I'm gonna stop right here because I'm actually impressed at how well it's done. It's not clogged up at all. Well, it has actually slightly, if you can see that. But yeah, interesting. Right, time to change the bag now. Unclip that. Well, emptying it out really. I just picked up all that with just a cleaner head. That's impressive, you know. I did not expect it to do that well, considering how weak the motor is. Now let's try it in handheld mode. To optimize suction, you really must clean this filter properly to get all the fine itsy bitsy particles off. And now just for fun, I'm gonna empty the entire dust bag, <clears throat> sorry, tea bag onto the tablecloth and then we'll do a torture test with this. Maybe if I spread it out more, it will do better. So yeah, this Hoover is mainly a novelty item. It's not really meant to pick up crumbs at all unless you use a little handle attachment. But even then, it's quite pathetic, even in that mode. And that's the best mode to use it on. But as for what I'm using it for right now, tea leaves is not so bad for cleaning up tea leaves. Unless you've got lots of time on your hands, this thing will take forever. But yeah, as you can see, it's picked up the majority of it, but it has left a lot of it behind. So that is the Paladone USB vacuum cleaner, which is now collapsed out of exhaustion from all that mess.
Paladon USB Hoover.